Section 11 of The Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jill Ingle. The Aesop for Children by Aesop. The Wild Boar and the Fox. A wild boar was sharpening his tusks busily against the stump of a tree when a fox happened by. Now the fox was always looking for a chance to make fun of his neighbors, so he made a great show of looking anxiously about, as if in fear of some hidden enemy. But the boar kept right on with his work. "'Why are you doing that?' asked the fox at last with a grin. "'There isn't any danger that I can see.' "'True enough,' replied the boar. "'But when danger does come, there will not be time for such work as this. My weapons will have to be ready for use then, or I shall suffer for it.' "'Preparedness for war is the best guarantee of peace.' THE ASS, THE FOX, AND THE LION An ass and a fox had become close comrades, and were constantly in each other's company. While the ass cropped a fresh bit of greens, the fox would devour a chicken from the neighboring farmyard, or a bit of cheese filched from the dairy. One day the pair unexpectedly met a lion. The ass was very much frightened, but the fox calmed his fears. "'I will talk to him,' he said. So the fox walked boldly up to the lion. "'Your Highness,' he said in an undertone, so the ass could not hear him. I've got a fine scheme in my head. If you promise not to hurt me, I will lead that foolish creature yonder into a pit where he can't get out, and you can feast at your pleasure. The lion agreed, and the fox returned to the ass. I made him promise not to hurt us, said the fox, but come, I know a good place to hide till he is gone. So the fox led the ass into a deep pit. But when the lion saw that the ass was his for the taking, he first of all struck down the traitor fox. Traitors may expect treachery. The Birds, the Beasts, and the Bat The birds and the beasts declared war against each other. No compromise was possible, and so they went at it tooth and claw. It is said the quarrel grew out of the persecution the race of geese suffered at the teeth of the fox family. The beasts, too, had cause for fight. The eagle was constantly pouncing on the hare, and the owl dined daily on mice. It was a terrible battle. Many a hare and many a mouse died. Chickens and geese fell by the score, and the victor always stopped for a feast. Now the bat family had not openly joined either side. They were a very politic race. So when they saw the birds getting the better of it, they were birds for all there was in it. But when the tide of battle turned, they immediately sided with the beasts. When the battle was over, the conduct of the bats was discussed at the peace conference. Such deceit was unpardonable, and birds and beasts made common cause to drive out the bats. And since then, the bat family hides in dark towers and deserted ruins, flying out only in the night. The deceitful have no friends. The Lion, the Bear, and the Fox Just as a great bear rushed to seize a stray kid, a lion leaped from another direction upon the same prey. The two fought furiously for the prize until they had received so many wounds that both sank down unable to continue the battle. Just then a fox dashed up, and seizing the kid, made off with it as fast as he could go while the lion and the bear looked on in helpless rage. How much better it would have been, they said, to have shared in a friendly spirit. Those who have all the toil do not always get the profit. End of section 11